Hi, George Hawkins and Wendy the Water Drop from DC Water. I'm out here at Fort Reno, which is actually one of the highest points in Washington, D.C., to answer the challenge of my friend Chotch, who's the director of the Northeast Ohio Sewerage District in the Cleveland metropolitan area. Thank you, Chotch. I'm so glad uh, you put the challenge on me. So the reason this is called Fort Reno is it's one of the top points, highest points in Washington, D.C., and we look out because this was where a, one of the buildings and forts was that defended this city in the Civil War. Since then, because of its height, we put water services here, we have pump stations, and beneath our feet, a reservoir that's providing excellent, crisp and cool DC tap water to customers throughout this region. And so we're going to use some of that water, DC tap water, drink tap, and pour it over my head. By the way, after it streams off me, it's going to flow into our green room. This is designed to capture storm water, so every time it rains, the water sinks into the ground and is captured here where green can grow, rather than running off into streets and perhaps basements of the neighborhoods around us. And it's something we're doing all over the city. So once again, George Hawkins from DC Tap Water answering Chach's call from Northeast Ohio Sewage District with Wendy the Auto Drop, Emmanuel brings, let's go for it. <laughs> I'm ready! <laughs> That's a spicy meatball! <laughs> I want to challenge someone here. The fact we have this green roof is because DC has some of the most advanced, low impact development regulations for stormwater in the United States. Keith Anderson, director of DDOE, I call you out. I want to see some DC tap water on your head. I know there's bioswales right out in front of your building, so go to it, Keith, and I salute you. I will be making a donation in honor of this tap water to Splash, which is a program we have at DC Water to support our lowest income customers at times of need. It's something any of our customers can do and donate to Splash, and you don't even have to be dunked in ice water. Thanks a lot.